again, readers! It's me, Raimski, and welcome to another book review for 2023! Now, if you are new to this channel, please, please, please do consider in subscribing to my channel and hitting that notifications button for more um, book reviews such as this one and or for unboxing videos of queer books, mostly queer books, for 2023. Now, in this video, I will be hopefully briefly be reviewing, or rather, talking about The Lion's Legacy by Elsie Rosen, and which actually comes out on May 2, 2023. Now, before we get to the nitty-gritty, of this book, I must tell all of you the trigger slash um content warnings for this one, which is honestly just a few, and that is a gore and horrific scene in or rather near the end of the book, and it was a little bit gruesome, but not as gore as the um. Monster Sauna that I read like a few book reviews ago or a few weeks ago. So yeah, I guess that is the only content warning that I have noticed in this book. Now, I have to tell all of you that I had another fun read for 2023 because this book, The Lion's Legacy, which again comes out on May 2, 2023, so you'd better pre-order this book from your local indie bookstore or request it from your local library. It's actually pitched as an Indiana Jones-inspired queer book. And just to let you all know, I really am not a fan of Indiana Jones. I am more of a uh, Tomb Raider fan because it's more like queer, I guess, because... We were all simping for that badass Angelina Jolie back in the day. God, I'm so fucking old. <laughs> so yeah, I guess um, I am more of a Tomb Raider fan rather than an Indiana Jones fan. And I know before y'all come for me that Tomb Raider is actually um, the female version of Indiana Jones, or rather inspired by Indiana Jones in some way. So yeah. Anywho, getting back to the book. <laughs> I, get, get, I was getting segued. The premise of the book is that Tennessee Rosso, our queer or rather gay main character, was asked by his father, who by the way have ignored him for more than two years because they had a row two years ago to join him in looking for the rings of the Sacred Band of Thieves. Now, just a little bit of history for all of you. The Sacred Band of Thieves was told to be an army of gay couples. And yes, you all heard me right. Gay couples. So in other words, the army is composed of pairings of two males and they were unstoppable back then. They were only defeated once by this enemy. And their mortal enemy is Spartacus, the man of Spartacus for some reason. I don't know the uh, history behind why, so yeah. Tennessee Russo, or Rosso, was invited by his father to go look for those sacred bands or sacred rings, if you may, because apparently these rings are the key to why this army is unstoppable. They were the reason that the members of the Sacred Band of Thebes are able to defeat almost all of their enemies. So putting aside his hate for his father, Tennessee or Tenny actually joined him in this conquest. So the question is, was he able to look or find these sacred rings? So if you want to know, then you'd better pre-order this book from your local indie bookstore or request it from your local library because it comes out on May 2, 2023. So 
what I liked the most about this book, just like with Camp, is that it is actually awe-spiring, or rather inspiring, because at the center of it, at the very heart of it, it is about discovering our queer history. Oh my god, I'm getting goosebumps. It is more of rediscovering and retelling our very own queer history. It is about putting out that erased history, our erased history, out in the world. Oh my god, I'm getting goosebumps. Because time and time and time again, historians have always tried to hide, to erase our very own queer history. And as a queer, or rather a gay person myself, I have never heard of any queer history or stories while I was growing up. It was not told in schools, it was not told in public. They were always erased. They were always um, shoved back in the closets. Because those two men sharing a bed and a home that they bought are just best friends. Or rather, were just best friends who actually waited to find a wife, but unfortunately did not until their last breath. Because that man who was actually a woman, who was a woman parading as a man, is not a transgendered person. Because that person in history who dresses androgynously is just a woman who is confused by their own gender identity. Time and time and time again, these queer histories, these queer stories have been shoved back, have not been told for decades, centuries even, for some reason. And this book, the Lion's Legacy by Elsie Rosen, which again comes out on May 2, 2023. So you'd better pre-order this book from your local indie bookstore or request it from your local library, has actually told us that we need to find these stories and spread them out so that the younger generation of queer people would have stories or would have something to look back on, to let them know that they have existed since the dawn of time. Oh my god, I'm get getting so emotional. Aww. Because historians for in the recent years have denied these stories from all of us, and it is time for us to take them back and to spread it to our generation and to the next and to the next and to the next. <laughs> Aside from that, another thing that I liked about this book is that it hinted on a polyamorous relationship. More specifically, a throuple kind of relationship. So if that made you interested in reading this book, then again, please pre-order it from your local indie bookstore or request it from your local library. So, with all of that said, I will be giving this book 9 out of 10 stars just because it was just oh so inspiring and oh so heartwarming to say the least. I hope you all liked watching this hopefully brief book review of The Lion's Legacy by Elsie Rosen, which again comes out on May 2, 2023. So you'd better pre-order this book from your local indie bookstore or request it from your local library. And if you all did like watching this book review, please do give me a thumbs up. Or if you did not, please be completely honest. And do give me a thumbs down, but please do put your comments or your thoughts in the comment section.
because again, I will be needing those feedback to grow as a content creator. Also, you all could follow me on all of my social media accounts. That will be Bookstagram, Booktalk, and Book Twitter. But I am mostly active on Bookstagram. And they all have the same handle, at Raimsky Reads. So again, this is Raimsky asking you people, begging you people to please hunt, discover, and read those queer books. Queer? Out!